Howdy and welcome back to the Antarium. In this video, we will update you on our second Neopanera colony. Our formerly paired but now single queen has her first workers. Interestingly, she has been laying more eggs in the two queen colony in group 1. You would think she'd have a lower egg production capacity than the two queen colony, but that just hasn't been the case. I believe this may have to do with the competition and hierarchy of queens in the polygynous Neopanera colonies. They likely eat each other's eggs at times. This colony took a while to leave the test tube in the outworld. At first they tried using the gypsum cube nest as a trash chamber. I wasn't going to allow that, so we had it clean regularly to prevent a pheromone from building up. Eventually the colony decided to abandon the tube and nest inside the cube. The workers may not be full size yet, but they are still highly effective hunters. They take down any live prey easily with their paralyzing stings. I have been giving them a diet of live crickets and dubia roaches. If you haven't done so already, you should consider starting a dubia roach colony to feed your ants. They are an excellent source of nutrition for them. In the future, we'll make a video about our own Dubia Roach farm and show you how you can start your own. Here you can see the workers collecting water. As mentioned in previous videos, Neopanera cannot regurgitate food or water. Because of this, they have to either consume it for themselves or bring it back to the nest between their mandibles to share with others. This results in a cool water carrying behavior where ants come to the water sources and then carry back as much as they can and pass it around to the other nest mates. This colony has been growing at a faster pace due to the queen's high egg output. The worker populations are already getting to a point where it's hard to open the outworld without the risk of escapees or getting stung. These ants quite literally do not care about fluon and will cross over it on a vertical surface as far as I can tell. Doing it upside down may be a different story though. Due to these complications, they'll need a much bigger outworld here quite soon. And that means some more DIY here in the near future. We will continue to update you with this colony's progress in future videos. If you enjoyed this content, please give us a like, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next time.